Hello, boys and girls. We have been reading our story, Where is Home, Little Pip? And it is written by Karma Wilson. She is our author. And Jane Chapman, she is the illustrator. Remember, this part of our book is the front cover. And this part of our book is the back cover. So if you can get your book out and you can turn to this page, this is where we left off reading the other day. And so if you need to, pause the video and get to this page in the story. All right, Pip had just talked to the whale and, the, and she said, oh, that's not my home. And then she plodded along. And then she saw the kelp gull. All right, let's read. After a bit, Pip saw a kelp gull, gull pecking at a shell. Hello, said Pip. Can you tell me where is home? Squawk! Yes, little penguin, said the bird. I think I can, she ruffled her feathers and said. On the craggy cliffs in a humble nest with sea to the east and land to the west in a cozy crevice where shelter is best, home is where my little chicks rest. Pip frowned. But that's not my home, she said. The, pip sh the bird shook her head sadly. Squawk, dreadful, I'm sure, but that's the home I know. Oh, well, said Pip, I'll keep looking. Pip slumped along. She had walked far when she saw something strange indeed, a tall two-legged creature being pulled by many four-legged creatures. When the creatures were close, Pip called, Hello, strangers. Can you tell me where is home? The tall creature said something, but Pip could not understand. One of the four-legged creatures said, Woof, don't mind him. I can answer that, little bird. And she wagged her tail and said, Across the ocean far away, after sailing a ship for many a day, on the sandy shore there's a house weathered gray, Home is where my puppies play. And Pip frowned, but that's not my home, she said. Woof, said the creature, what a shame. That's the home I know. Nice meeting you, said Pip. I must keep searching. All right, we're going to pause with our reading there. And I want to go back to the kelp gull. Okay, all right, and right here, let me read her little poem that she had said about her home. It said, on the craggy cliffs, in a humble nest, with seat to the east and land to the west, in a cozy crevice where shelter is best, home is where my little chicks rest. So what is the kelp gull? What is she singing about? Go ahead and tell yourself, tell a grown up, or tell someone that's near you. What is she singing about? She is singing about her home that's on the cliffs. And what does Pip say about the bird song? She said something here. What did she tell the kelp gull about her song? Tell yourself in your brain. Maybe tell a grown-up, what did Pip say to the kelp gull? She said, that's not my home. And she kept on looking. Now, there's something that the kelp gull said in our story. And we're going to use clues to try and understand what is the kelp gull meaning. And I want to look at this word right here. It's the word land. Now I know that land has two meanings. It means two different things. So it could mean the part on the earth that's like the ground because there's land and water and sky. So land could be over here where the earth is, the ground, or it could mean like something that's in the sky and it landed on the ground. 
So now let me read that one more time. And we need to try to figure out, does it mean the land that's a ground, like it's on the ground, like water is on the ground, land is on the ground, or does it mean that she landed on the ground? Let me read it one more time. On the craggy cliffs in a humble nest with sea to the east and land to the west, in a cozy crevice where shelter is best, home is where my little chicks rest. Let me read just that first part again. On the craggy cliffs in a humble nest with sea to the east and land to the west. Now think of that word land. Does that mean that she's talking about ground? Like there's ground, there's sea or water and there's ground, land. Or does she talking about her landing, like she's flying in the sky and then she's landing on the ground. So that's what I want you to be thinking about. And that's the question that I want you to answer on Seesaw. So go on to Seesaw and make, um, do a video of yourself. What does land mean in the story? Does it mean like the ground? Or does it mean that she was flying and she landed? I'll read this part one more time to help you think about it and then I want you to go do it. On the craggy cliffs in a humble nest, with sea to the east and land to the west. All right, does land mean the ground to the west or does it mean she landed to the west? All right, go ahead and go do that and post a video on Seesaw.